Sports reporter Janet Davies caught up with the Olympic gold medal winners who now have their sights set on that mirror ball trophy. Janet. Alan Linda, Merrill Davis, and Charlie White are partners on ice by night in a touring show and competitors rehearsing by day, dancing with new partners Max and Sharna. I got to watch them practice for tonight's performance in the Northern Burbs before their skating event. Merrill and Max are number one. Charlie and Sharna were in jeopardy last week. <laughs> Now that I, I have the gold medal in my physical possession at all times, um, that stress has evaporated. And it's really allowed me to enjoy everything, the moment, the, the dancing that I'm doing on the show. As an ice dancer, he is trained to move a certain way across the ice. That is the complete opposite to what we need to do to glide across the floor. We don't, on the floor, you don't have the advantage of taking one step and going 20 feet. What makes it easier on the show is the very palpable support from the fans, mm. um, regardless of, of the scores that we're getting. So I think having that really means a lot to us. Even though Charlie and Merrill have been together since they were little, while in Chicago, the show is keeping them far apart. So now we head from Schaumburg all the way up to Northbrook. And there's no stopping us right now. Coming out of the games, coming into this experience, I think it's a very different approach, and I think we're just having fun. Has she influenced you, Max? You seem to be a kinder, gentler Max this time around. She just lets me be me. I love dancing again. You know, it's not a job and it's not a babysitting job of dealing with someone's emotions. And, you know, you had to be a coach, an instructor, uh, a psychiatrist. I took a different approach with Meryl and she just happened to be, you know, the best partner I ever had. Sometimes the judges are pretty picky on you. And this time... We just don't like each other. I'm not a fluff type of dancer. I'm, I need it to be real and to be raw. Judges have maybe sometimes different opinions. They need flash. They need some sort of like, you know, kicks and spins and flicks. And if I don't do that, they, they're not going to like it as much as somebody who does. Do you ice skate? Do I look like I ice skate? <laughs> Are you good? You're a dancer. You probably could. I probably could do a lot of things. But, you know, you have to be, you have to do what you're good at. We're going to get him on the ice eventually. We're not going to get him on the yeah, ice. Yeah, we are. We're most likely not. We, we will. Believe me, certain things are not for the tall, sexy, good-looking ones. <laughs> <laughs> well, Max says the last time he ice skated, he was 15 and ended up in the emergency room getting 15 stitches. Now, you can see Dancing with the Stars right here on ABC7 tonight at 7. Max was quite the character, but he loves Dancing with Meryl. Not quite the case... Uh, yeah, who was he talking about? Yeah, uh, yeah. He even wouldn't tell, he he wouldn't wouldn't tell me. He wouldn't tell me. He wouldn't say. He's pretty humble, isn't he? He's very humble. <laughs> he needs to do something about his self-confidence, don't you think, Janet? He's very I, shy. He really I thought he almost wouldn't sit down and do the interview. Really? really? Yes, yeah. because I was breaking his concentration. Uh, okay. Artist. Brooding, brooding. <laughs> okay. Great, All right, Janet, thanks.